Alright, so this is the CX750 by Corsair. Uh, I already removed the plastic on it because uh, I tested it. Uh, the customer of mine, I run a computer company, and so uh, they, we had to test uh, their, their motherboard We're using a, a new power supply, and so we used this one. And so this one, we know this one works. And so... Emerald City IT, by the way, uh, if you're in Seattle and you need uh, computer repairs or anything done, uh, any technology services, uh, it is support science. And so, like, you know, this stuff costs a lot of money to do research, and a lot of it's independent. The school has a hard time covering it so because some of it's dangerous. But, uh, yeah, man. Um, Emerald City IT is my company, 206. Seven four five two six seven one. Emerald City IT. Uh, so, anyways, uh, so here's the power supply. This is a seven hundred fifty watt power supply. Uh, um, standard power supply for a computer. Um, this one is not modular. But I mean, it's really nicely braided, and so we can use some of this, uh, the mesh here. Uh, we can use that uh, just like we did over here. And so we're going to be doing the same thing uh, with a pinout of uh, the board in there. I'm going to take it apart and uh, see how we got all the different connections and all the different colors and all the different ones. We're actually just looking for the yellow ones, which are the 12 volt power that we use to power the amplifier, like a car battery. And so all these yellows in here. Uh, that's what we're looking for, and then the black is ground, and then we have the green, uh, the green, the green uh, cable, which tells it to be on or not. And so, uh, I'll publish uh, something related to uh, converting uh, power supplies into lab uh, power supplies, because these can be used as lab power supplies, where you got like the five volts uh, and the three volts, and anything you need, like in a lab, doing experiments with like banana plugs and stuff. Banana plugs, excuse me, banana plugs. You can. Uh, you can do with this and so like you can go like around here where I'd go to like fries or something but you can like order stuff and um, put it together and then you can have your own lab power supply and it's like really cheaper than getting like an expensive one for like maybe like a thousand dollars or something uh, you can get any wattage you want and they're safe as long as you do it right uh, because you're not really changing anything you're just not using the other voltages and so uh, um, we're going to uh, start taking stuff apart in my next video. And uh, I'm going to get this going, right? Because it's getting dark out here. I'm outside. The sun is setting in beautiful Seattle, Washington. This is where I'm living. It's my house and stuff where I live. You know, just doing rocket science out here, right? And so, like, you even got the school in the background, right? My school's over there. Way over there is like the institution, right? You know what I'm saying? I'm like the school administration's administration with the rocket science, right? You gotta keep on top of those guys. All right, so uh, I'm gonna get this started. And uh, I'm gonna do, uh, I've been recording all this via, Cam via Camtasia. And so I will uh, record via Camtasia me disassembling this stuff and I'll try to explain as much of it as I can while I'm doing it. And then I'll try to get some of it on this camera uh, that I'm holding right now, which is my new tablet. Uh, I'm not affiliated with their uh, company or anything, but uh, Yuntab, uh, the $100 tablet this is. I'm doing all this science and research on this one little tablet. It's amazing. Uh, I got it on Amazon also. Plug out to Amazon. Um, so uh, let's get this started. All right, thank you. So this Corsair power supply, uh, they get kind of expensive. And on the last one, uh, all I did is uh, gut out the yellow uh, 12 volt and the black ground and just had those run straight out into the amplifier, just the 12 volt. I cut it out all the 3 volt and the 5 volt and uh, I just, those are the red and the orange ones. And uh, the thing is like, I don't wanna keep just gutting these things, right? And just not being able to use them only for like one purpose, the 12 volt. And so uh, for this one, um, I'm actually gonna get to the, uh, 
We're going to get the pin out for this. And we're actually going to make a little lab power supply, right? And so um, we're going to have the 5 volt, the 3 volt, the plus 12 volt, the negatives, all that kind of stuff that are in here, all the ones that are available. And we're going to make this a lab power supply. Because if I ever need, like, again, like power for a lab or something, and uh, I need this much power, uh, the, the, I got the 12 volt little one over there, the 350 watt one uh, that we're replacing with this. But uh, this is more expensive, and so uh, I, I want to do it right. And so I'm going to make a separate video for this. Uh, before I, I uh, install it back into the complete system over there and so I don't know if I'm gonna do that out here yet let me I'm, I'm planning that right now and so uh, I'm gonna take this little pause uh, and do a little planning break and uh, maybe uh, upload this stuff so let's check that out all right thanks all right so, final decision, um, we're going to draw something up, uh, we're going to plan this out a little bit, uh, I'm going to publish a journal on GitHub for converting this uh, Corsair CX750 uh, power supply into a lab power supply which can be used to get you know, lab power for any kind of instruments, you can use banana plugs or whatever uh, kind of uh, plug your instrument uses. And um, I'm going to clean this stuff up, I'm going to put this back together and uh, we're going to publish some, uh, some content on GitHub tonight, uh, some more research, I'm going to do some more writing. Um, I have to write my uh, independent research proposal. Uh, for this for the portfolio for my independence research project and so uh, I got to write up the methods and uh, what we're doing and stuff and so uh, this uh, power supply into a lab power supply will be one of those methods that I'm gonna need to write up so I'm gonna use this as my uh, this is my lab this is gonna be my lab so um, let's do it all right so we're gonna clean all this up put this in there so I got something in here. I don't know what this is. Oh, Daiso's batteries. That's empty. Daiso's is a little great little shop in Seattle. They got everything you need. Uh, I'm out of batteries though. All right. All right. Good night, guys. At least on on the video stuff. So.